Regina Reinhart, Australia's richest person, after her wealth rocketed from two to nine billion dollars last year. The only child of mining magnate Lang Hancock, Gina grew up on a 24 billion ton iron ore deposit in WA, ditched uni after a year of economics and joined the family company. At 21, Gina announced a plan to revolutionise open cut mining by using nuclear explosions. The plan was scrapped, but 20 years later she mused, it's a pity it didn't happen. Reinhardt became famous for her feud with Rose Laxon. Hired to look after her ageing father, the Filipino housekeeper married him. When Gina tried to intervene, her father cruelly rebuked her. Allow me to remember you as the neat, trim, capable, attractive young lady, rather than the slothful, vindictive and devious baby elephant you have become. I am glad your mother cannot see you now. A few months later, he removed her as a director of Hancock Resources. Lang died in 1992. Reinhardt spent 14 years brawling with her stepmother, the remarried Rose Porteous, over the estate. Lang's body was cremated, but with Gina hoping tests would eventually prove Rose killed him, his heart, kidneys and liver were locked up in Perth Mortuary, where they remain to this day. The coroner found he died of natural causes. After his death, Reinhardt took control of the mining empire and successfully expanded it. She remained publicity shy, bulletproofing her cars and office windows, and retaining former SAS men as bodyguards. In 2010, she went public, a multi-billionaire taking to the streets to protest Labor's proposed mining tax. Australians for Northern Development and Economic Vision, the lobby group she founded, includes climate skeptic Ian Plymer and her corporate strategist, John McRobert, who used to advise Pauline Hanson. Reinhardt also funded British skeptic Lord Monckton's 2010 Tour of Australia. In November, she bought stakes in Channel 10 and Fairfax newspapers. Family friend Ron Manners explained that Reinhardt would like her voice to be heard. What does that voice sound like? Reinhardt published her seven-point plan for Australia in March. It includes cutting taxes on mining, loosening environmental regulations and bringing in cheap migrant labour from Asia. An act she says would be humanitarian. And she is reportedly behind Channel 10's decision to give Andrew Bolt, Australia's most vocal climate change denier, his own TV show. Gina Reinhart, businesswoman, brawler and budding media mogul. Nine billion dollars is a lot of money to play with.